Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to another um, poppin' uh, DVD update, or should I say another little DVD slash anime DVD update. Got more animes here and a couple other DVDs too, and another pop as well. So let's start with a pop right now. So as of now, I have now have completed my collection of the pops for the gargoyles. This is the only one I needed to um, get, and that was of Broadway. So now with Broadway, I've now completed the my, uh, the collection of the series of Disney's gargoyles. And what I mentioned before, I did enjoy the show growing up. I have the seasons over there, although they never released the last one, the Goliath Chronicles. Um, yeah, there was yeah, the Gargoyles, the was the the, chron the Chronicles of Goliath or the Goliath Chronicles. Either way, though, they never released that, though, sad to say. That was the last season. But I do have the other two seasons, though. I don't know why. If they release the other seasons, why can't I release the last season? I don't know why, but... This is the last one of the pop of the collection, the series that I got, and that's a, of Broadway. So that's why I have completed the, the set for that. <clears throat> And get into the DVDs. Well, two of these aren't animes, though, but... Which I opened them, which I got all right here, though. But these ones I got, though, separately. Um, this one of uh, Scooby-Doo and the Curse of the 13th Ghost. Now, which is... This completes... Um, this fills in the plot hole for um, the show from back in the day was when it was just uh, Shaggy, Scooby, and Daphne. I remember um, there was there was just, that, just them three. Uh, there was a short show of them, of just them three. And there was the uh, they tracked down like this the thirteen ghosts that they they they, they were they were um, after and um, the thirteenth the thirteenth ghost right here was still you know out and about so this fixes that um, from that show the thirteenth ghost right here so and ever you have a return or the returning character of Vincent Van Gogh as well so. Yeah, so this movie fixes that whole of that um of that old that old spin-off show. So give this a give this a review as well. So Scooby Doo and the Curse of the Thirteenth Ghost. Now with How I Train Your Dragon the Hidden World coming out um it's a uh, couple days just a couple days away. I'm really looking forward to it. I have here are the first two seasons. Seasons one and two of the the show that came out on Netflix. Dragons Race to the Edge. Now I've enjoyed the show. I like the the writers of Burke and then defenders of Burke. I love the first film, right there. And at the time I had the poster of the second film up here, and over there as well. It was over there. It was first it was over here, then it was over there. So now this is the show that came out on Netflix. This is the first two seasons. Hopefully it won't be too long until the rest of the seasons come out on DVD. So. And now with this here, now under the Universal logo, because now the film, the third film was is will be the first of the DreamWorks animated movies to be released under Universal because um, they had the, the their five year contract with 20th Century Fox expired, so now they move on to Universal now. First was Paramount, that was the first film. The second film was 20th Century, and now the last one is Universal. So they release this now with that under. DreamWorks owning owned by Universal. That's why they release now under Universal, not 20th Century Fox. So yeah, but I I enjoy the show and I'm looking forward to seeing the Hidden World now. The epic conclusion is said. You know, J, John Bur J Berthold voices Hiccup saying that he'll be sad but satisfied. So I hope he hope he hope he says that what he says is true. So love the show and I'm really looking forward to seeing last one and now moving on to the I've which I've already opened which is now of the animes well first off these ones are well these two aren't animes but they're uh, episodes of the TV show that I grew up watching I mentioned before Goosebumps so I got two of them from the Goosebumps show Night of the Living Dummy 3 which you have a really <laughs> funny enough you have an early appearance of Hayden Christensen you know playing Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars Episode Two and Three. Here, this is years. This is years before he was casted. This is when he was much younger as the character Zane. <laughs> this is funny. Hayden Christensen before, before after starring in this, he's going to star in the 
two Star Wars prequels, two and three. I just find that funny. Yeah, he gives he, 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 I say I like him better in this than those than the two Star Wars films. So yeah, now the Living Dummy three, and then I got uh, the Haunted Mask two, which I like I said I enjoy the episodes from the show. So I you know I just love I love the books. I keep on mentioning before I love the books and I love the TV show. So I just get more on that. So because I have other ones like. Some of them are in set, are in sets, and then I have ones like this are separate DVDs. Like this one, like House of the Dead and Werewolf of Fever Swamp and Deep Trouble. Those are these are separate episodes, separate on this like this. But um, the other ones I have like in um, two pack or three pack of the episodes together. So yeah, with the Haunted Mask two and uh, Night Living Dead three. Now we move on to the animes. Now some of these are very <laughs> curious to watch. I'm sure a lot of some of these, um, w um, deal with fan, more fan service, and I know that for sure for a couple of, for, definitely for a couple of them. But this one's I haven't have to be sure to give these a watch. This one is of um, this one is this the show is from the creator from the creators of Freezing, which I while back I got the anime series of those of Freezing. So this this one's from the creators of that called Saran Kagura, Ninja Flash. So I guess these are these are ninja girls, I guess. So I wouldn't know because I have all these animes of of DVD of the animes I I got. I have not read the man, man the manga series, although I am reading them right. Some of them I read some of them I'm reading them right now. Only on some of them though, but I have not read nothing on any of these mangas of any of these shows I've read. I mean I've seen so, but this one Sir, Sir Sinran. Ka Kyura, Ninja Flash, so I don't know what this one is, so I say it's ni probably Ninja Girls, I say, so, yeah. This one, uh, uh, this one is also, this one's from the creator, these other ones I'm not too familiar with, though, but the one, but this is a studio that brought, um, well, this is the studio that brought you three of these shows, but the first two I'm not too familiar with, but the third one is this, um, the studio that made Ghost in the Shell. This one is called of Maria the Virgin Witch. <laughs> it's from the title of that, yeah, Maria the Virgin Witch. Uh, so this is a, a, the story about this one is, about, uh, is her Maria. I guess she doesn't like uh, um, wars and all that, so she did something like to end all wars. Um, it says here that the Archangel Michael despises the way she uses her magic to interfere with human affairs and decrees that she should ever manage to lose her virginity. Her powers will vanish. That's just funny. So yeah, I'll be really interested to watch this one. And it's but and it's plus it's from fun it's from Funimation. There's the ones I have that are made by Funimation, so I do like that I do like. So Funimation has did some good stuff. So and this one's in both a Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. So watch how the animation is on both things. So but Funimation has done some good stuff. So yeah, Maria the Virgin Witch. Now, oh, this one's definitely oh, a fa probably a fan service galore. This one is from well, this one this one's not Funimation, it's from Sentai Filmworks, but um, Seven Heavily Seven Heavily Virtues. <laughs> yeah, we're just looking at the back of this. Definitely fan service galore. Galore. And this one's just a Blu-ray, so yeah. Yeah, it says, if the road to hell is paved with good intentions, these angels are the ones who are building it. <laughs> yeah, probably more than you think. So yeah, I know what I'm getting myself into is has like fan services like that. So um, and <laughs> probably get into another one. Of this one, this one's this one's also from Funimation as well. Citrus. I don't know nothing about it, so. But uh, just so curious how this one go, how this one goes. So, uh, reading it back here. Da, 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 da. Huh. 
So I don't know. This is how to get how to get give this one a go. So citrus. Oh, who knows? Maybe maybe it's not like maybe it's not like how it is, like this in the cover. Who knows? Looks can be very deceiving. So now this one I have heard I have heard of, and it's probably for one especially for one particular scene that I've looked up. I've looked up clips. Of, I looked up. I have looked up clips of this, especially for one particular scene. I was like, really? <laughs> but um, I'm sure probably sure get a, get a good laugh out of this one. Uh, Shin Shinomita, Shin Shinomita, the the bo a boring world where the concept of dirty jokes doesn't exist. There's like this, I guess, in this world where all like st words and stuff like concepts that are just banned, and there's like a particular group that's like don't want that. I guess that there was this girl. What was the girl named Blue Snow who wears like underwear over her face? Say, like, oh, I want to free her. This say, I want to say whatever I want. And this and that. I don't know. Yeah, it's like this here. Who wears like the underwear over her face like that? And uh, so for one, also one particular scene with a different character, like regarding that girl out right there with the gray hair in the middle. If anyone knows about the series, they should know about that one scene I'm talking about. Man. <laughs> but like I said, some for some some animes I watch is for have a good story and characters, and you can have moments of levity and humor as well. But some are just just flat out just be comedies. Just co all comedy. That's it. So, but yeah, uh, Shinomita, the the boring world where the concept of dirty jokes doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, I know what I'm getting the myself into when I, I have to say I've heard this one, especially for that one scene. <clears throat> scene. Sorry, I almost choked right there. Probably because I'm talking too fast. I'm almost choking myself. Probably this the probably that show wants me to do wants me to choke on myself. And the last two here probably there's another one that's a whole has a whole lot of fan service probably. But Alright, so this one is this one this one is this yeah, this is another one from Funimation, so like I said I haven't heard ever never heard or read of this manga, so who knows? Girls Bravo? Probably just a look at this cover. Probably is another one dealing with fan service. God dang. <laughs> but yeah, just reading on the back here. But we'll see on this. So yeah, girls, Bravo. I haven't heard of it. Haven't read the manga. So but yeah. Okay, and to end this one on a good note. I have heard this. I've heard this film for years. I know it's for it's an anime movie. It's probably considered the best one of all time, and it's the, it's the first one ever to win an Oscar for best animated feature film. And if you ever if you ever know this about this one film that would be the first to win an Oscar for best animated feature film, and that is of Spirited Away. I've always I've heard about this film for years, ever since when it came out. I never got a chance to around to, to see it, so I'll be the I'll finally get a chance to watch it, see why it's been uh, praised so much, and why it deserves to why it deserves to win the first Oscar for best animated feature, the first animated movie to win the first best animated feature. So the back is from Wall Street Journal saying nothing less than magical. I just hope wherever all the years I've heard of all the praise, I just hope it'll, it's right. If not, I'll be disappointed. But I'm sure it won't be disappointed because it seems it, from a lot from what I heard from a lot of people, it's been great. So I'm sure I'll like it because as I, uh, there was that other where was that other one it was called um, as this character right here. Forget what it was called. See that where my where my where my, uh, my finger is. This character right here. There was that. There was that other. That's also a a, no, a, no, a noticeable figure in the Japanese anime movies. Is that character right there? I forget what the name was though. But yeah, that movie too. But but right now, focus on this one here. Spirit Away, hailed by like a lot of critics and from people. 
So, yeah, I'll be sure to give this a give this a watch. And that's it. So yeah, it's a long DVD slash anime slash pop updates longer. So just really quick. My completed setting of the Gargoyles. So I got Broadway. Then of um, Goosebumps of The Haunted Mask 2 and Night of Living Dummy 3. Scooby-Doo, The Curse of 13 Ghosts. The first two seasons of Dragons Race to the Edge. And then in the animes, like I said. Uh, Suran Ka Kagura, Ninja Flash. Maria the Virgin Witch. The Seven Heavenly, Heavenly Virtues. Citrus. Then Shinomata, Shin Shin the Boring World, Concept of Dirty Jokes doesn't exist. <laughs> Girls Bravo. And then Spirited Away. That's another, so another long one, so but thanks for watching, and stay tuned on the next uh, movie review, and we'll see y'all later, alright? Later.